Howdy, 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 my darling Capricorn. How are you doing, honey? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to be doing your weekly tarot reading for April 2022 Capricorn. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, be sure to let me know in the comments below, as well as check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign to get the full spectrum of what's going on in your life. And be sure if you do enjoy this tarot reading, give this video a like and subscribe, Capricorn, all right? So let's just see what it is that you're currently dealing with, Capricorn, all right? We have the Queen of Swords coming in here, the Nine of Pentacles stepping forward as well as the ace of cups coming in here okay and then on their side of things here capricorn we got the five of pentacles and then we have the knight of cups extra coming in as well so i guess we'll just like place that right there and then on the overall energy of things here capricorn uh we have the star energy coming in so very interesting here capricorn very interesting i feel as if this is the situation that i'm tapping into of an energy of where you are really putting your boundaries up capricorn i want to be celebrating you guys because i feel as if you guys are starting to sit into this energy of being like no you are going to respect me you're going to speak to me in a proper way or you're not going to have access to my heart all right you're not going to mistreat me you're not going to underpay me um because you will look for other ways to gain further finances all right so i really want to be celebrating you in that way capricorn because i see you guys taking a stand for something where you're just like you know what with the star energy here you are realizing that this is something that like something needed to change here and i do see like your heart is really like you are very understanding and open to this but at the same time you're just at this place of being like you know what like if this is not serving to your highest good here like if this is doing nothing but bringing distress to your emotions you don't want it anymore all right because you will take you will make it you'll figure it out capricorn i feel like you're the type of person right now where it's just like you would rather be jobless even though you got 10 bills to pay if rather than work for somebody that underpays you underappreciates you and disrespects you that's why how, how i see things capricorn and i really and i just like i don't know it just makes me really happy to see this i'm not happy that you're having to go through this capricorn i'm just really happy to see the level of self-respect that you guys have and i feel like you guys have really even like multiplied that self-respect recently and so again i just really celebrate you capricorn now with their energy here with that five of pentacles and the knight of cups coming in here capricorn they're not happy about this in fact like i feel like they're taking this pretty hard capricorn when you first put up boundaries when it comes to people right there's a lot of people will struggle with those boundaries all right and i feel like they're really struggling with these boundaries here i feel like as if uh capricorn due to this queen of swords energy there hasn't been communication for a little bit now all right there hasn't been communication here and so on their side of things here i would be saying be anticipating them reaching out here eventually here because they are extremely regretful about what it is that they did here um they are very much so in this place of being like down the dumps very insecure that you left here i feel like it really caught them off guard capricorn where they're just like oh man like it's like you are finally acting in a way that they are not used to capricorn but you always had this inside of you but they never saw this side of you because you always had were just like overtly kind you always practice unconditional love towards them right i mean when you see that ace of cups energy you can't help but acknowledge that right and so with this five of pentacles nine of cups here this is why i'm saying like be anticipating some type of communication them trying to reach back out to you here capricorn is because of this nine of cups because they're just like it gets it eats at them so much capricorn um where they're just like no i gotta reach out to capricorn i gotta connect with them again like this is like they are not happy with how things were left off at capricorn all right and so let's get into this juicy reading here capricorn let's start expounding on this let's start getting some clarifiers darling how's it sound all right so let's continue on with this here <clears throat> how is this situation how's this energy going to be looking like in the coming days here we have there's a card that i want that flipped over that i wanted here it is we have the ace of swords coming in here as well as the temperance energy and then we got the four of wands coming in here we also have in the back of the deck for this current shuffle capricorn the lover's energy 
all right and so i feel like how this situation is going to be progressing here i do feel as if communication on their end is going to eventually be happening all right can i just say that capricorn um because you have this four of wands here all right the four of wands this is a card of coming together i mean you see two people coming together it's known as the 11 11 card that's why you see two wands on either side and it's also known as the card of marriage ace of swords here with the temperance energy i feel like this is why you want to keep up your boundaries and i feel like initially capricorn can i just say this i mean this is my own me inserting my own opinion into the into the situation here but i feel as if for you when they do reach back out to you capricorn don't just immediately take them in all right you want to play the waiting game a little bit it's the long game here right with that temperance energy just because they first initially reach out to you your heart might you know that soft spot in your heart for them and just you know how loving and caring you are in general capricorn you might just be like all right like i accept you i love you just take them back in because they you know whatever right but you kind of want to make them work for it i feel you want to like force them like that once they come into communication back with you capricorn right with that as that knight of cups you're just like okay like you have this bouquet of roses here honey that's fine and fabulous but you know that doesn't acknowledge the situation of why you had to put up boundaries in the first place right now i'm not going to get into that because that's your business and it's going to be very individual for each of you capricorns of like why you were pushed to this point here but you know when they do come back out you'd be like all right we need to talk about why you had to put up boundaries in the first place what went, what went wrong in the first place here all right because at the end of the day and you can even say acknowledge with them capricorn be like hey like i you know i love you i care for you you are family you are my close friend you are my lover right but at the end of the day honey right we gotta we gotta rectify this situation here we can't just like pick up where things last left off here we gotta talk about the situation here so how do they end up responding here capricorn how do they end up responding here king of wands very watchful at first very watchful i feel as if uh, initially let me pull one more card magician energy here very watchful here capricorn that's how that's what i get with them initially they're just very they are they i feel like that you gain a lot more respect from them uh, subconsciously like i don't feel as if they're gonna be like oh wow capricorn like come on I, I celebrate you capricorn like they're not gonna be like that right they might not respond too well because again with this magician energy it's like they're like what bothers them the most is to have not having a sense of control with this situation where they acknowledge the pot like the ball is in your court the power is in your hands here that's why i was saying like watchful here because i see i think i see um they i see them as this lion here watching you as that king of wands and being like oh okay like this capricorn is really taking a stand claiming their throne claiming their power here and so they're kind of just in this place of observing being like huh i'm not used to seeing capricorn in this way i didn't see cap you know i didn't anticipate capricorn reacting this way saying these things that they said and what have you here all right and so um i really feel like during this time capricorn you are going to be really like that's why you want to play the waiting game even as hard as it might be for you initially capricorn right um to just like you know to make them like learn their lesson a little bit more but the boundaries are only effective when you really keep strong with those boundaries don't play it down i mean don't uh lessen those boundaries when they come back to you keep them strong and force them hold them accountable capricorn before you allow them open back up to them again before you open your heart to them and show that vulnerable side of yourself again force a conversation with them you'd be like hey you know you know for some of you guys capricorn the situation is like you want marriage you want you want something a lot more long term here and what they were exuding beforehand was just this place where they weren't like you want i feel like you want things to be more solid i feel you want things to be taken more seriously you can't it's like you can't continue um going in the ways that ha things have been right for some of you guys it's like once one party was working the other side wasn't and it's just like like i feel like it was like a uh, like a boiling point right where it's just like it wasn't like one specific thing it was just like something that for a long period of time where it's like oh i'll change i'll change things will change what have you and then they never did all right so that's what i feel intuitively with that situation capricorn so how do things end with this that's what i'm interested in how do things seemingly end with this situation mm -mm. But yeah, Capricorn, really keep up with this Queen of Swords energy. All right, don't feel guilty. Queen of Cups coming in here. Nine of Pentacles coming in here. 
and then the ace of swords so how this ends out is really beautiful and you will be so thankful that you ended up forcing them to talk about the situation be like all right we can't we cannot connect again until we not like until we figure out what we need to do to change here they end up changing for sure all right nine of pentacles and now there's no sugar coating this capricorn all right this is not going to be something that happens overnight all right this is going to be a progressive thing but when i see this queen of cups energy here all right this is an energy of where uh you guys in the dynamic like this this is an energy where you guys would really feel <sighs> I feel like this is a situation that will really grow the both of you guys, not only just personally on each side, but also just to, like how you guys interact with one another. I feel like you guys will feel a lot more secure with one another here. I feel as if um, really this is like, even though like the situation was pushed to this point where you had to put your foot down Capricorn, you're, go you're going to be so thankful that you did later down the road that you did because of just like how like, because it's like with this ace of swords it's like this once this problem is rectified everything else seems to be good now because of the knight of pentacles it's the slowest moving knight capricorn so you know it is important to be aware about that that it's going to take a little bit of time and progression for them to but star energy coming right back in here capricorn all right um you guys will definitely find your way back to another reconnecting becoming close again here capricorn all right so what i want to be telling you guys at this current point in time is just you know keep up with that queen of swords energy don't back down on it because you will regret it the worst thing that you could do at this time capricorn is take this energy back in without forcing that conversation without forcing them to acknowledge what it is that they did wrong not just saying like oh well, like i'll change da, 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 da. be about action all right be about the action acknowledge what it is that they need to do but also action they need to start taking action in regards to it now with that knight of pentacles slower moving than what most people probably would like all right but you know super moon coming in here emotions are running high expect a powerful change coming in here and then confidence is the key to your success absolutely here capricorn all right really really put your foot down as hard as it might be when it comes to this energy here because you always i feel like you always were just extremely tender-hearted towards them which is a beautiful thing here but this is where you got to really give them some tough love because otherwise change will never happen all right so this is very beautiful it's, i definitely feel as if when it comes to this connection here as long as this person is able to be having that conversation conversation with you with that ace of swords because it is ultimately up to them and how they respond if they don't respond positively then they're immature and then it's just like by felicia all right you don't want anything to do with them but it seems to be for the majority of you capricorns things are going to be turning out really beautifully you have the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing capricorn all right so very very beautiful energy here you can't be expecting you can't be asking for really anything better uh get clear on your intentions and stay focused and quickly move to achieve your goals there so remember what it is that you're doing even during the tough times even if they're messaging you capricorn during like the middle of the night and your guard is down remember what it is that you're trying to accomplish with this and remember that by you being that queen of swords energy now you'll end up being that queen of cups energy later on where you are very loving towards them and just very happy with the people that you hold close to you all right capricorn so that that's the tarot reading that i have for you darling if you enjoyed this today let me know in the comments below be sure to give this video a like and subscribe remember capricorn i only do my readings through my website simplyvelka.com nowhere else as well if you um want to follow me on social media tiktok and instagram both being simply velka same as here i would love to connect with you on there as well so i love you so much capricorn i hope i can connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling